Hmm. Sounds like rain. There you go, that's better. So now that Go helped me install and register Zoom, what's my next step? So, welcome back to the second part of our series, How to Use Zoom. My name is James Ortiz, and I have been a SolidWorks user since 1997, and I have been training SolidWorks in the Great Lakes region for well over 20 years. In this video, we're going to discuss how do I get information from my instructor, and from this point on we're going to call them host, how do I launch meetings, and how do I use the Zoom product. So let's dive into this subject. Once you have registered for the training class, your instructor or host is going to be notified that you will be attending. Then your host, prior to your training class, is going to send out an email, and in that email you will see that they're going to introduce who they are, they're going to let you know what version of SOLIDWORKS they will be using. They're also going to suggest any type of hardware or accessories that you might need for that online course. They're also going to give you a link to the training files that will be used for your particular class. They're also going to provide instructions on how to unzip those files so you'll be ready for the course. Then, they're also going to let you know that at a prior date, they're going to send out invitations to that Zoom meeting. So, what about that later date? Prior to the actual training course, your host will send you an invitation to your Zoom meeting via email. So, open up whatever email browser you use, and you're going to wait for their invitation. When you get it, you simply go over to your email and select on it. By selecting it, you're going to see that you get your Zoom invitation. This will be the link that you use to attend your training on the date and time. Just for your information, you can click the link a few minutes prior to the class just to make sure that all of your equipment is working properly. After you click on the link, it's going to open up your internet browser. It's going to take you to the Zoom website. It's also going to open up your Zoom client. You'll notice that we launched this meeting a few minutes before the host actually arrived. And we did this so we can test our computer. You'll notice that there's an option here that says test computer audio. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to check our speakers. Great, we can hear it. So now let's go test our mic. Testing. One, two, three, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. And we can hear our playback. Now that everything is working great, let's close. And now that we know that our equipment is working well and we have a great connection with the internet, it's just a matter of sitting back and waiting for our host to log in. Well, it looks like they're logging in now. At this point, we're going to give Zoom permission to use our audio equipment. And then we can also see who are the participants in the training class. You'll notice we have the host and we have the student that would be your name. We can close that off and we can go and say join the audio of the group, share our screen, or invite others. When the host is ready, they'll start sharing their webcam and you'll see a screen that looks just like this. It's going to have their name and all the participants that are in this class. At this point, the host is attempting to share their desktop with the rest of the class, letting you know that they are about to begin. Oh, look at that. We can now see their desktop. This now means that everything that the host does on their computer, you are now going to see it on your computer. I hope you enjoyed the second installment of our How To Zoom video. In our third, we're gonna discuss the navigation through Zoom and some of the tools that you might need to know in order to go through a training class with Go Engineer. Can't wait to see you there. You have a great day.